Hello everyone, welcome to OM Institute. I am Surendra Reddy, Faculty for Electrical Machines at OM Institute, Hyderabad. So, as you all of you know that uh, TG Transco is coming up with a new notification for assistant engineers recruitment. So, according to the job calendar released by Telangana government, the notification will come in the month of October and examination will be in the month of January next year. Okay? So, in order to help the students preparing for this examination, so I am coming up with uh, the earlier notification that was TS Transco 2018 notification. We will discuss about the details of the earlier notification so that we will come to know what is the syllabus and how many vacancies have been released in the earlier notification. Okay. And the most important aspect I will also discuss about what is the present salary details of assistant engineers in TS Transco. Okay. So the video is going to be more interesting. So please watch till the end so that you will get more information about the examination. Okay. So let's see. <clears throat> okay. So if you look at the vacancies that are being released in the year 2018. So, overall there were 330 vacancies have been filled okay, through the examination uh, for assistant engineers. Out of that, 250 vacancies are filled by electrical engineers and 49 for civil and 31 for telecom. Telecom means ECE students. Okay. So, we are expecting uh, on a similar line. Okay. So, maybe uh, electrical vacancies may be around 200 definitely this time also okay but we don't know the information yet so as per the previous uh, notification 250 vacancies so this time we are expecting around 200 vacancies definitely okay all right and coming to the examination pattern so the examination pattern may not change but only change is this time the exam is going to be computer based test so if you look at the 2018 examination paper this was offline mode examination that is through question paper. So there used to be 100 questions okay, and the duration is 120 minutes. Okay, The duration is important 120 minutes but in case if the examination is a computer based type you will get only 100 minutes this time because there is no need to bubble the paper right. So that bubbling time will be removed so the exam will be only for 100 minutes and there will be 100 questions okay <clears throat> fine. So, out of the 100 questions, 80 questions will come from technical subjects related to electrical engineering and 20 questions will come from general awareness and numerical ability. So, this may not change okay, as per the expectation. So, again 80 questions will come from technical subjects and 20 questions will come from uh, aptitude, English and general studies, computer ability etc. Okay, but only changes the exam will be definitely going to be computer based test just like the earlier okay recent genco examination and exam will be for 100 minutes only <clears throat> okay this is the exam pattern okay and this may not change much and this is the most interesting thing okay yes all the students are preparing only for one agenda that is a job once you are targeting a job obviously you wanted to know what is the salary that you are going to get okay so i have collected the details uh, from one of the engineer who is currently working in TS Transco, okay, uh, TG Transco, um, as an assistant engineer, he has a five years experience. But this is the salary that a fresher will get. Okay, currently with five years experience, he is receiving around one lakh sixty five thousand rupees. But a fresher will get this salary. Okay, as per the current information. So this is two thousand twenty four pay pay package. Okay, right now the pay package right now the engineers are receiving. So the basic pay will be around 65,600 rupees and the DA is 11.78 percent right now that is coming around 7,728 and coming to HRA house rent allowance in Hyderabad it was a 24 percent guys but it will change from location to location suppose if it is Warangal or Karimnagar it will be 18 percent. Uh, if it is like other uh, areas 14 percent in rural areas it was 12 percent like that. So from area to area HRA is going to change. In Hyderabad right now it was GHMC area 24 percent that will be 15,744 and remaining allowances are fixed for uh, anywhere whether you stay in Hyderabad or rural area or any uh, any urban area these allowances will be fixed CCA medical allowance conveyance allowance all together right now the fresher will receive a salary around 92322 this is the gross pay that a fresher will get from TG Transco okay uh, and remember guys I wanted to give you one more update 
Yes, you may also think about, sir, what about hikes? Yes, I will join with 92,322. What will be the next year's salary? Okay. Yes, for that purpose, look at these details. There will be DA hike, DA will be revised every six months. Every six months, there will be a hike in DA. And for every four years, there will be a pay revision. Okay, that means your basic pay will change. Okay, this, this is the basic pay right now. And you remember one thing, when the notification was released in 2018, in 2018, the basic pay was only 45,800 basic pay. But right now you see the basic pay is 65,600 for assistant engineers. Okay, that means the salary will change. Okay, according to the you know policies of TG Transco, every four years there will be one pay revision. Whenever pay revision came, the basic pay will change so that all the allowances will also change. Okay, and there will be promotion for every six years. Therefore, you can see. In 2018, the last exam was conducted. This is 2024. That means six years completed. That means whatever A is recruited earlier, they are all going to be promoted so that vacancies will be there in assistant engineering location. Okay. All right. In case if the organization didn't give you promotion, they will definitely give you one extra increment. Okay. So the salary will keep on increasing only. Okay. So right now, as I told you, uh, the engineer who was recruited in 2018, currently working in TS Transco, he is getting 1,65,000 rupees and he is located in Varangal right now. Okay, That means HRA is less than Hyderabad location. Maybe Hyderabad side, right now assistant engineers may be receiving maybe 1,75,000 or 80,000 right now. Okay, Yes, uh, so definitely I can say uh, as per industries, this is one of the best salary package you can get as a fresher. All right. Okay, fine. Now let's come to the most important part of this video that is syllabus. So in order to target this examination, first we should know what will be the syllabus. Yes, remember guys, this is a syllabus based on 2018 notification. Uh, we don't know the syllabus may change or may not change, but as per my expectation, 99% the syllabus will not change. Okay. But in the recent Genco examination, the syllabus got changed. Extra subjects have been added. But I am expecting that in a Transco examination, there won't be any change in the syllabus. Let's see what are the subjects and also we will understand what are the subtopics. Okay. Yes, the first one, engineering mathematics guys. Remember, in Genco examination syllabus, mathematics is not included. But in Transco examination, mathematics will play a role okay engineering mathematics and these are the subtopics you need to study in engineering mathematics linear algebra calculus differential equations complex variables probability and statistics numerical methods and transform theory okay and i will also show you the weightage as per the previous examination 2018 but this is syllabus right now i am giving you okay engineering mathematics is the first subject and then we have electrical circuits Okay, uh, it is one of the important subject whether you prepare for AE level exam or AWE level exam or uh, you know gate level or any level of exam. Electrical circuits is an important subject. Not only from the marks point of view, even to understand the other subjects, you need to be perfect in electrical circuits. Okay, and these are the subtopics. This is expected syllabus, just like a gate. It is just like in the line of gate examination, absolutely same. Okay, so network graph theory. KCL, KVL equations, nodal and mesh analysis, transient response, sinusoidal study state, and that is RL, RC, and RLC circuits, okay, resonances, filters, uh, uh, network theorems, two port circuits, three phase circuits, um, power factors uh, calculation, that is active power, reactive power calculations in AC circuits, okay. So, this is exactly like gate syllabus, okay. Next, EMF. Okay, this is also similar to gate syllabus, no variation as per 2018 notification. Okay, so these are the subtopics in electromagnetic field theory. So if you are if you wanted to know, if you wanted to uh, take a copy, pause the video, take a screenshot so that it will be helpful for you during your preparation. Okay, yes. <coughs> Next signals and systems, uh, earlier before 2018, we don't have signals and systems and mathematics in transco syllabus. But in 2018, first time they introduced mathematics and signals and systems. Okay, and this syllabus is also very similar to gate examination syllabus. Okay, you can see uh, what are the different types of signals, 
shifting and scaling properties, uh, linear time invariant and causal systems, Fourier series representation, sampling theorem, applications of Fourier transform, Laplace transform and jet transform. Okay? So, that is signals and systems. And then electrical machines, uh, just like other exams, we have four parts in electrical machines, transformers, three phase and single phase induction machines, synchronous machines, DC machines. Remember, no special machines. You need not to study special machines as per the notification given by Transco in 2018. Okay? But this year, this may change or may not change. We do not know until the uh, real notification came. But as per my expectation, the syllabus may not change much. So, no need to study special machines. Okay? So, only conventional machines we have to study. Next, we have power system, four parts, transmission and distribution, power system analysis completely power system protection and power generation concepts. Okay? And control systems, this is exactly like gate syllabus, no change at all. Okay? No change. And then electrical and electronic measurements, so uh, electrical measurements as well as electronic measurements as well. Okay? And then analog and digital together. Okay? Actually analog electronics and digital electronics are two different subjects, but in the syllabus they have given as a single subject. This is also very similar to gate examination. And remember guys, 8085 microprocessor is there. It is not 8086, 8085 as per 2018 notification. Okay? So, microprocessor is also included within analog and digital electronics syllabus itself. Okay? And then power electronics, another important subjects. Remember there is no drives. Okay? As per this 2018 notification, drives is not included. Uh, whereas in the recent uh, you know, uh, Genco examination syllabus, drives is also a part of the syllabus, but uh, in Transco syllabus, drives is not included. However, we always recommend students to study drives also because you can't say you know drives is a special topic. Okay? Drives is simply a combination of power electronics and electrical machines together. Okay? Therefore, they need not to specifically mention it is a drives, uh, but you can expect question, okay? because they, it is a combination of two subjects, that is all. Okay? Right. And then, you know, the section B of the question paper, uh, that is all. With this, uh, technical subjects have been completed and this is a section B. Uh, this will count for 20 marks and these are the topics, okay? analytical and numerical ability, that is general aptitude and the general awareness. General English, Telangana culture and movement, and computer knowledge. Okay? Computer knowledge is extremely important. Minimum 3 to 4 questions will come every time when examination was conducted. Okay? That is all. This is about the syllabus for TS Transco examination. So, when you compare the difference between Genco syllabus and Transco syllabus, additional subjects are mathematics and signals and systems. Okay? Removed subjects are mechanical subjects will not be part of Transco syllabus. Whereas in Genco, mechanical syllabus is also included. Okay? But here you need not to study mechanical syllabus, <coughs> but you have to study mathematics and signals and systems okay? also. Fine. <coughs> now let us try to understand what is the weightage as per 2018 question paper. You can download this 2018 question paper from Google. Okay? I will also give you a drive link in the description of this video. You can download that question paper. And according to 2018 question paper, we have highest number of questions from electrical machines subject. 15 questions have been appeared in technical part. And then the next highest weightage is power systems, 12 questions were there. Electrical circuits, 9 questions. Power electronics, 8 questions. Control systems, 7 questions. Interesting thing is EMF. Most of the students will take EMF as a choice because it is slightly difficult. But remember, seven questions came from EMF subject in 2018 paper. This may change your fortunes sometimes. Okay? So, one single subject may change your fortunes. That is why do not take EMF as a choice. Please work hard, learn EMF subject properly and try to answer the questions. Okay? EMF is extremely important. See, uh, if you look at question papers in 2012-2010 era, EMF subject used to carry only one or two questions only. 
but post 2015-16 uh, you know most of the questions are coming from EMF okay so seven questions were there in 2018 paper so you can't take EMF as a choice it's an important subject okay and then signals and systems subject carried six marks this is a new subject added in 2018 notification but given good weightage okay six questions came from signals and systems and then measurements uh, subject carried five marks digital electronics will carry five okay carried five marks analog uh, less weightage it was only three questions came in 2018 paper mathematics is a new subject in 2018 but only three questions came and then section b you know that it is a fixed weightage 20 questions okay overall 100 questions paper okay so you can see the highest weightage subjects machines power systems electrical circuits power electronics control systems emf okay up to here highest weightage is there okay and then signals and systems measurements digital analog mathematics these subjects are carrying lower weightage okay but you can't say sir the next year exam paper will also have a same weightage we can't predict right it is a competitive examination not a semester examination anything may happen suddenly the machines weightage may reduce to 5 power system weightage may increase to 25 or suddenly power system weightage may reduce to 4 marks power electronics weightage may increase to 15 or 16 marks anything may happen in competitive examination you can't question anybody right so remember you have to prepare for this examination in such a way that whether the exam paper is easy or difficult or moderate you have to be able to crack it okay you can't blame after the exam sir exam paper is very tough i was unable to answer you can't say sir exam paper was very easy everybody will get good marks i can't clear the exam you cannot blame anything you cannot search for answers for your failures so we have to prepare for this examination in such a manner that whatever may be the mode of the exam whatever may be the difficulty level of the exam whether it is easy or moderate or difficult or whether more questions are coming from machines or more questions are coming from emf or mathematics whatever may happen you should be able to clear this exam okay because you all know that these exams will not come every year right if a transco exam was conducted in the january of next month you can expect next transco only after four or five years it is not like gate examination or engineering services examination these kind of exams will come once in a while therefore you have to give your full efforts you have to prepare to face anything in the examination hall okay yes okay so be prepared for that so don't try to blame anything you should not blame you uh, your parents you should not blame the examiner you should not blame the government you should not blame the university you should not blame anything you have to blame yourself if you fail okay so be very strong be very positive okay uh, give your best efforts okay spend more time on your preparation so you know cracking this examination is not so difficult okay remember that all right so this is the marks weightage as per 2018 question paper okay that's all so this is the basic information i wanted to give you you know based on 2018 examination notification according to that you can plan your preparation so you have a six months time left so what to do in this six months in order to get best result out of the examination okay all right prepare a strategy follow that strategy strictly okay no matter what happened in your life follow your schedule strictly so that you can crack this exam easily okay right thank you so much thanks for watching